Hello. Good morning. I will be right back. Here's Sundance. Say hi, Sundance. Just finishing off a sip of my homemade chai latte. Yum. Yay. All right. Hi, Mackenzie. Hi, Monty. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Nor. Just going to give everyone, it's 929, so we'll just give everyone another minute to uh, come on in and get settled. Are you doing yoga? Are you doing yoga? All right. Hey, Patty, Hillary. Let's go ahead. And begin in child's pose. And just take a few moments to get yourself settled here. You might decide to move or wiggle for a few seconds or even change up the position completely. And then with your next exhalation, just allow your entire body to be enveloped by the shape, just sink into the ground. And even though it's early on in the morning, you may be carrying something with you emotionally or mentally, you can also start to set that aside for the next hour or so. One whole hour just to feel your body as it is as you arrive on your mat today. So let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath in together. Big inhale through the nose. Let's open the mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Let's make a little sound, pour all the air into your mat, into the ground. And then inhaling through the nose. Open the mouth nice and wide, big exhale with sound, with power. 
all the way to the end. And then fill up one more time for a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then as you breathe in through the nose this time, keep the lips sealed for the exhalation. So out through the nose as well. Get a little bit of sound going here. And then when you're ready, when you feel like that breath is nice and strong, you can rise up to tabletop pose. You don't have to do that immediately though. You want to stay in that child's pose. Once you're in tabletop, I'm just going to invite you to move today. So cat and cow would be the probably most obvious position to work through here. That's the one I'm doing, but just take a few rounds to breathe and organically move your body however it wants to move. So if you're starting with cat and cow, you might stay with that, right? You might move from cat and cow to something more circular in the ribs, side to side, a sway in the hips. Maybe a roll through the neck. So you start to feel the shoulders, almost like you were flossing the shoulders up and down. Really try to get into every joint that you can. Most importantly, keep your breathing nice and strong. And let it start to have sound behind it if it doesn't already. So nice and big on the exhales. Nice and full on those exhales. Just allow yourself a few more free movements here. It's nice and organic, following every breath. And then downward facing dog, just to stretch out through the back side of your body. So right as you hit that, you might start to feel some tension through the backs of the thighs, the calves, the heels. Try to allow that to relax. Use your hands nice and strong. Fire up the arms as you push into your mat. And then as the heels lengthen down, imagine you were trying to pull your kneecaps up to your hips and your low belly. So you'll feel the front sides of your legs get nice and strong. Then you may intensify that stretch in the backs of your legs. Pick up the kneecaps towards your hips. Really engage your quads there. And then we're going to drop down to tabletop pose one more time. From here, send your right leg back behind you, starting to balance here. And then once the right toes are engaged, left arm is going to reach out, breathing in and out through the nose. Hold this final balance here. You start to firm your right arm. That's the one that's now. Hug the right tricep back and in. You'll feel maybe a little bit of a burn through the outer arm and shoulder. Get a little bit longer on your inhale to reach, and then exhale, elbow to knee, right underneath you. Nice little squeeze there, and then inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Do this a few more times. And a lot of the time, it's that rooted hand and rooted arm that really starts to burn here. So you may be feeling this in that right arm. That's all right. Try to just take a few more. If it's one more, it's one more. If it's 10 more, it's 10 more. Your job is just to breathe and move, not to judge how you're doing. And then we'll change sides. The next time you reach out nice and long, Take the hand and the knee down, and then just simply pick up that left leg, send it back. Reach your right arm out, hold this first one. Just so you can find the balance, see how it feels in the left arm. And then try to engage everything that's not touching the ground. So that's your right hand all the way back to your left heel. Take a big sip of air in. Yeah, and then exhale, bring it in, elbow to knee or thigh. Inhale, extend, and exhale. Don't forget, this is for your breath. Yes, you may feel it in the shoulders and arms, even in a little bit in the core. You gotta breathe in and out as you fire up that breath. Just take a few more here. Go a little bit deeper, last exhalation. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hand and knee down. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. One more time here. And you can pedal this one out, really start to get into this down dog. Notice how the arms, the shoulders may feel a little bit more open here. You can push into the fingertip pads and allow your head, your chin to come in. Low belly zips up and in. 
Pick up those kneecaps, lengthen down through your heels. Take one more full inhalation. Exhale completely, consciously. And then inhale, rise up high to be toes. Exhale, take a little walk or jump to the top. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hold it in. On your inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, take your side bend over to the right. Big breath in, inhale. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, reach up, look up. And then exhale, forward fold from your hips, dive it in. Inhaling halfway up, peek out. And then exhale, hands down, step back. High to low, push up this time. So from plank, lower down. Inhale to the tops of the toes for upward. Exhale over your toes, downward facing dog. Take three supercharged breaths here. In through your nose and out through your nose. A little bit more weight into the legs and heels. A little bit more length from the tailbone all the way out to the fingertips. Finish up your exhalation. Pay attention to the low belly. And then inhale, rise up high to feet toes. Exhale, walk or float, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, heart to thighs. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, to your left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, from the hips. Take a tip and dive all the way in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low through your vinyasa. Nice, smooth breathing now. Connected to your movement. Try not to get ahead of your breath. Let the breath ripple throughout the body, from hands all the way to heels. Let it come before every movement. Inhales, opening, exhales, squeezing, contracting. Take one more breath out, and then we'll rise up high to be toes. Exhale, walk or float. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, heart to thighs. Inhale, let's rise. Exhale, side and right. So we're doing just another round or two of this. If you'd like to take off at your own pace, make an addition or even a subtraction, feel free. You want to just follow along with me. I'm just going at this steady pace, doing exactly what we said, taking the vinyasa, and then holding for three breaths in downward facing dog, really trying to even it out. Even out any kind of wrinkle, tension, blockage that's in the body. Evening out any wrinkle, tension, or blockage that's in the mind. Notice the quality of your breath, and then from your down dog, we'll take one more round. Feet to hands, top of the mat. Nice, easy warm up here. Make sure you're breathing. As the class progresses, the movements get a little bit more challenging. The sequences get a little bit more complicated. The breath is the guide. The breath is what gives you the energy to continue on. So really set it up nice and strong in this first sequence. Challenging but simple. And then from that downward facing dog, take it. Two breaths, let your chin come in. And then we're going to meet up in tabletop pose again. So go ahead and drop your knees down. Nice. Readjust it so you're nice and steady. And then right leg is going to reach back. Left arm is going to reach up. So exhale, bring elbow to knee right underneath you this time. We're going to do it three times. That was one. Exhale for two. Go in for your third. After three, reach behind you for the bind. See if you can catch the foot or ankle behind you. Start to open up. Strong right hand. Root it down. Keep breathing. Good. Now, without slingshotting, release that foot easy. Take your left hand down. Tuck your left toes under. 
three-legged dog with your right leg high, right into that transition. Good job. Exhale, bring right knee to nose, round sweep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your foot up in between your hands. Back heel down. Inhale, come right up to warrior one. Warrior letter A, sinking your hips down to the ground. Right hip peels back, arms float, chin up. And then exhale, hands come down. Step back, take a vinyasa, high to low. In your down dog, come to the knees. Spinal balancing, this time your left leg goes back. Send your right arm out. Take three elbow to knee crunches. Left knee to right elbow. Good, after three of those crunches, reach back, try the bind on the other side. Try to open up as much as you can, kick into your hand. Peel that right side back. Good, release it easy. Right hand down, tuck the right toes under. Three-legged dog as you push high. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl it in. Inhale, three-legged. And then exhale, step up, warrior one. Warrior letter A, back heel, pivots and plants. On your inhale, rise. With even hips, left side back, right side forward. Take a big sip of air to reach up. And then big controlled breath out as you get all the way to chaturanga, lower down. Let's take three breaths in down dog. Exhale, gazing back towards toes, looking up towards your belly. Noticing how it feels, so you should start to feel maybe those first few hints of work in your practice starting to build here. Finish up one more breath in, keep the belly steady. And then rise up high, tippy toes, walk or jump to the top. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees for chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink into your heels with the arms high. You're going to start to gaze up towards your thumbs, maybe hands together for just a moment. And then open arm twist to the right, exhale. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale to this, you can stand up. Exhale, forward fold, take a dive in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low. Go ahead and flow through your push up to your back bend, all the way to down dog. Listen up, take your knees down to the mat. Send your right leg back, spinal balance, lift your left arm. Three crunches right here. Flow with that breath. Don't get ahead of yourself. Go for the bind behind you. Even if you can't reach the foot today, just try it. From there, keep your right toes up, left hand down. Three-legged dog right from there. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze. Inhale, lift it high. And then exhale, step it through. Back heel down on the inhale rise, warrior one, just for a breath. And then exhale right down, chaturanga, high to low. Tabletop pose, knees down, left, left leg back, right arm out. Exhale, squeeze. Go for those three crunches. Ooh, a little bit of sweat starting, I can feel it. Reach back, make sure you're putting that effort in. Go for the bind as you kick. And then from there, three-legged dog, release, inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it high. Exhale, step through. Find your warrior one. One big inhale to the top. One big exhale to the bottom of a push-up. Three deep breaths. Really getting that energy flowing now. Third exhale is going out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring feet to hands however you'd like. Take that halfway lift when you arrive. Exhale and fold back to chair pose. So this is our second flow. Exhale, 
to the right. Inhale, keep sitting low, down into those heels. Exhale to your left. Inhale, reach up and look up. Exhale, forward fold, dive in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low. You can always skip a push up and add a push up. Whatever works for you, take those knees down. Start with your right leg going back and your left arm reaching out. Three crunches. It doesn't have to be fast, right? We want to create a rhythm, like a steady jog here. Reach back for the foot. Not too slow, not too quick. We're not sprinting here. Left hand down, right toes to the sky, three-legged. Bring knee to nose one time. Inhale it high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior A. Exhale, vinyasa. From your down dog, knees down. Left leg extends back. Right arm reaches out. Three spinal balance crunches. And try the heart opener here, kind of like Twisted Dancer on a knee. May feel a little weird, but open up through that chest. And then three-legged dog, hand down. Bring knee in. And then you've got your warrior letter A. Step all the way through. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Come on down. Three deep breaths. Stay steady. Don't worry. You invite all these sensations, especially the heat, into your body. Feel it on the surface of the skin. I'm going to take one more round here. So make it a good one. Really pour a lot of effort into your practice here for the sake of warming up. Bend those knees. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, big twist to the right. Inhale, high. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, fold in. Inhale, take your halfway lift. Exhale, high to low. You probably know what to do by now. So from down dog, take your knees down to the mat. Start with your right leg going back. Reach your left arm out. And then three crunches in before you bind. So we're going to give that as the first little part. The second part is knee to nose from your three-legged dog and then warrior A. As soon as you finish up the right side and you're in down dog again, place your knees down and send your left leg back for your spinal balance crunches last time. Anything for now. I don't think they're coming back. So enjoy those last three. Go for the bind. Three-legged dog, knee to nose. Finish up with warrior one. Take a vinyasa. And then from here, come on through to seated right away into a reclining twist. So yeah, you're gonna lie down. Take your knees to the right. Open up your left arm to the left, turn your head to the left. Maybe feel, I don't know, maybe it's just me because I'm talking and doing this, but the heart beating, it should feel really strong in the chest. The breath, breathing, filling the left ribs. And all of those sensations along the spine as this twist works its way through. Sensations of tension, but also releasing. 
And then bring the knees up and change sides. Rock the legs over to the left, turn your chin to the right. And then we'll come back to the center here. Plant your feet on the ground, push into the heels and lift it up to bridge pose. Just a few breaths. You can interlace the hands if you'd like. Get a nice deep shoulder stretch there as you pick up the navel towards the sky. And then exhale, come on down. All right, here we go. Rock and roll. You might be able to rock right up to boat pose. You need to come to seated first. Find the balance from there. Lengthen out through your toes. You can readjust yourself however you need. Good. Stay really, really strong with the front side of your body, almost like you were squeezing and hugging everything down and in. And then lower halfway to half boat. Try to keep your shoulder blades up. Good. Your heels are still up, reaching, 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 and then right, rise right up to high bow. Inhale, strong front side. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. This is your last one. Exhale, lower down. Hold it right there. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, cross your shins. Take a vinyasa. High or low. Good job. Lower down nice and slow. Good. From your down dog, guys, right leg is going to lift to the sky nice and high. Exhale, bring the knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow for floating, falling triangle. What the heck is that? So instead of sliding your foot out to the floor, Keep it floating off the ground. Can you do that? And lift your left arm. Floating, solid triangle. Right there, hold it. Good, now listen carefully. Slide that foot back under you. Left hand down for side plank. Change directions as you lift your right arm up and stack your right leg on top of your left. Everybody pick up your right foot. Step it forward. Back heel down, reverse your warrior. Right, we're gonna hang out here. For an extra few seconds, reverse warrior, you're open to the side, right arm is lifting, right knee is lunging. If you're not there, you can get there. And then exhale for side angle stretch. So forearm to thigh, or hand or fingertips to ground. Reach your left arm way out and over, towards off the front edge of your mat, over your ear. Now push down into the right foot, sky archer. Same position as reverse, you're just straightening the front leg. And then exhale, trikonasana, tip over your hip, reach for something and try to keep that left side up and lifting. Take one more full inhale in. And then let's exhale, take a vinyasa, high to low. Left toes to the sky. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale high. Exhale to the right elbow, floating, falling triangle. Try not to let your left toes come down as you lift your right arm up. Good, exhale, bring it back underneath you. Side plank, Vashisthasana, change directions. From there, pick up your left foot. Exhale, step it up, reverse your warrior, back heel down. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, side angle, hand or elbow down to thigh. Reach way over, way over your right, uh, right here. Good, on that inhale, Sky Archer. And then exhale, Trikonasana, over the left hip. Reach for something as you take that little tip over. Good, high to low, all the way through to your flow. We'll meet up in downward facing dog. And we're gonna begin the other side, adding on. So right leg lifts nice and high. Exhale, bring knee to right elbow. Inhale it high. 
Exhale underneath and across. Go for that floating falling. If you can't float it, then just do regular, okay? Left hand down, side plank, Vashisasana. Pick up your right foot, step it forward, reverse. So these are pretty simple. You go up and then you're gonna go forward and down. Exhale, side angle, right? And then sky archer. And then to your triangle, exhale. Pick it up to star pose on your inhale. Then into your left knee for skandhasana as you exhale. You're gonna turn to the back of your neck, dragonfly twist, right hand down. Inhale your left arm nice and high. Exhale, take the left fingertips down off the edge of your mat. Lean into your half moon, all the way up on the inhale. Woo. You might fall over, you gotta pick it back up. And then on your exhale, come right into figure four squat from there. So crisscross the right ankle over your left knee, come into this one like a chair, hands to heart. Good, now reach down for the outside edge of your foot or your shin, dancing Shiva on your inhale. Start to rise all the way up, all the way up. Good, stand nice and tall. And then exhale, take your vinyasa, high to low. Good job, everybody. Lower down slow. Let's try to do that on the other side. So left toes are gonna lift here. And then bring it to the left elbow. Inhale high, you've got your floating fall on triangle. On your exhale, slide it out, float it out. Exhale, right hand down, side plank. Step your left foot forward, take it to the reverse. Good, side angle stretch. From there, sky archer on the inhale. Trikonasana, breathe out, exhale. Adding in star pose. Just one side lunge, standasana to the opposite direction, to the right. Left hand down to change sides, dragonfly on your inhale. Exhale, right fingertips down. Inhale, open up, half moon pose. Good, from there on the exhale, try to rise up. As you crisscross, left foot over the right knee, sit nice and low. And then reach down for something, even if you don't straighten the leg today, try to stand as tall as you can in that right side, all the way up to your heart, your, your crown. Good, come back to it if you've fallen out. Exhale, take the vinyasa, and we're gonna add in the last little bit of this flow today. Hopefully you're ready. From down dog, let's do it. Right toes lift. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale high. Exhale, squeeze and float that right leg high. Good, exhale left hand down, side plank. Step your right foot forward. Reverse it, inhale. Beautiful, exhale, side angle. You've got Sky Archer on the inhale. That's gonna take you right into Trikonasana, exhale. Good, pick it up to Star Pose, strong T to the side. Exhale, bend your left knee, Skandasana. With the right hand down, turn and change sides, back of your mat, drag and fly. Exhale, left fingertips come down. Inhale, start to open up, half moon. From there, exhale right up to your figure four. Nice and deep. Dancing Shiva as you rise. Remember, you don't have to straighten the legs, all right. Seated spinal twist, so take that top leg, right knee, snuggle it behind your left heel and come all the way down. So your left foot should be crossed over your right knee. Hook your right elbow over that thigh, look to your left, look back, and twist. Good, so start to face the back of your mat again. Now your left knee is into your chest, right? Your left foot is down. Try to catch your left big toe with your left piece and fingers. Lie all the way down to supine hand to big toe pose. Press your right hand into your right thigh as you kick your left heel to the sky. Good, so just like standing, open it out to the side. Open up your hip, you can look to the right. If you really start to tip over, try to come up a little bit, keep both hips on the ground. Come back to the center here, inhale. Exhale, do a little curl up, and then can you roll right up to boat pose from there. Good, toes nice and high, you've already done this, lower down three times, exhale. Inhale, nice and high. 
Exhale, lower down. Inhale, nice and high. You've got it. Exhale, lower down. From here, shoulder stand or plow pose. You're just going to rock over, hips overhead. Your toes don't have to touch the ground. You can take them all the way up, all the way down, or somewhere in between. And then that's where you're going to take your vinyasa today. Rock and roll out of it. Crisscross your legs, hands down, and take that. Push up. Hopefully you guys got that. But we're going to do it again, right? Left toes lift. And then exhale, squeeze it over to the left elbow. Inhale it high. And then underneath and across, try to float your left foot. Floating, fall in triangle. Take the right hand down, right into side plank. Roll and rock into it. And then take your left foot up. Reverse that warrior. Good. Keep going. Exhale, side angle. Sky archer with strong legs. Pick up the kneecaps. And then exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. From here, stand up to your star. Sink into the right side, skandasana. Turn around, left hand down. Drag and fly. Right hand to the ground. You'll scoop it up right to half moon. Tricky transition. Keep your balance as you come all the way up. You crisscross, left over right, figure four. Dancing Shiva. Right, and now we're adding in our third and final layer. Cross the leg behind you like curtsy, and then sit all the way down. Snuggle your left elbow over the right knee, and start to twist as you turn your head, your chin around. Now come back to the center, whatever leg is on top. That's the toe you're going to grab. Grab your right big toe, lie all the way down, extend your left leg out. Open out to the side, open your hip. Come back to the center on your inhale, chin to chest, bring your heart up to your knee like a strong abdominal crunch, and then right up to your high boat from there. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low. One last time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Plow or shoulder stand. Rock and roll it over. Can you catch your breath here? I know it's a little bit challenging, a little bit squished. Breathe out. And then from there, maybe with a little momentum, send it back, high plank, all the way through your vinyasa. So we've got at least another round or two of this, guys. Right toes to the sky. You think you know it, you can start to tune me out. Turn up your jams if you have them going. Don't miss that floating triangle. And then left hand outside plank. Right, if there's lots of twists and turns today, just stick with me. Reverse the warrior. And then you've got your side angle. Sky archer, reach up. Tree konasana, strong legs, long spine. Star pose on your inhale. Sink into that left side to start to change directions now. Right hand down. Inhaling, drag and fly. Exhale, reach the left fingertips out. Inhale, kick your right toes up. Exhale for figure four. Start to kick into the left hand through the right foot. And then light curtsy, crisscross, and come all the way down to seated. Snuggle those legs in as you hook the right elbow over your thigh. Look to your left and look back. From here, back to the center, grab your left big toe. Unravel. Use your core to roll down. And then open out to the left. Come on back to the center. Do that little crunch. Bring your chin to your chest. And then rock it all the way up to bow pose. Half bow. Three times. Up and down. I think I did four. No big deal. And then rock over to your shoulders. Your shoulders stand. Whatever it is. And then rock out of that, right through your vinyasa. And there you are, left side from your down dog. Go ahead and pick up your left leg right away. Don't miss a beat. Bring it to the left elbow. Underneath and across, go ahead and slide, float those toes. Right hand down, side plank, bashisasana. Step your left foot through, reverse it. 
Good, you got the side angle from there. Sky Archer. And then Tripanasana all the way down. Star pose, big inhale into the right side, Skandasana. Left hand down, dragonfly to flip it around. Right hand to the ground, get up to half moon when you're ready. You've got your figure four, crisscross. And then you're dancing Shiva, stand tall. Like a curtsy, sit all the way down. Snuggle the right knee in. Hook your left elbow and turn around. Come back to the center, it's your right big toe, grab it with your right hand. Start to lie all the way down onto your back. Open up, open the hip, letter B. Come back to the center, inhale, letter C. You bring your chest up, and then we're gonna rock it up. Release and feel your vocal is not lost in that exhale, lower down. You got it, guys. Two more like that if you're with me. If you're on your own, keep going. Maybe there's a, another inversion you can add in. Roll over, plow or shoulder down. And then rock out. We're going to take one more round, right side and left side. I'm going to do the movements without cueing it. So if you get a little lost, you can always turn back to the screen, but really try to just move through this sequence at your own pace one time. But like I said, if you need to look, if you get a little lost, you just pick up with whatever pose I'm at. Just keep following your breath. Facing the back, you grab your left big toe. Probably getting ready for your last side. So left leg to the sky. If you finish a little early, you can wait up for us in child's pose. Just got a few more breaths. Less than a minute, just a few seconds.
And then from your child's pose or your flow, if you're still flowing, keep going, it's, it's all right. We're gonna try a reclining hero. So you can come into a seated position on your shins. Open the heels out. So your hips start to go in between the heels. And then you can stay there. You can rock back onto the hands. You can rock back onto the elbows. Some of you will come all the way down to the head or back. And let's just try to take 10 to 20 breaths here. If you need to modify it or come out of an intensity, Right, make your modification, but try to close your eyes and just come back to your breath wherever you end up. Five more breaths. You can use those five breaths to slowly rise out of it or just come back to a neutral sitting position. And then from there, lean forward, high plank pose. Lower down, take a vinyasa, nice and easy here. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Get your right toes to the sky, three-legged dog. And then exhale, bring your knee towards your nose. You're gonna hold it right there. Bring your thigh up and into your belly. And we're gonna take 10 pulses in the arm. You're gonna bend the elbows an inch and then push up an inch, right? Knee is up and in. Bend the elbows and push up, little pulse. Start to go, find a little rhythm to it. We're halfway there, five, four, three, little pulse, two, on one, three-legged dog, inhale, reach the toes up, exhale, step the right foot through, come into high crescent lunge. On your inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Make sure the stride between the front foot and the Left foot, back foot is nice and wide to really descend down your hips. And then just notice any kind of pressure you feel, maybe in the arms, maybe it's just starting to creep up there. Try to keep your arms up this entire time. Starting to bring hands to heart center, open arm twist to the right. So reach your right hand back. Reach your left hand forward, kind of like we do in chair pose. Keep those arms up, reach back, look back. You may be feeling a little sensation, squeeze the inner thighs together, heaviness, trembling, shaking, maybe the breath is getting a little shorter, choppy. Try to smooth everything out now, sink another inch Deeper in your hips, lower your whole body as you keep those arms up. Rotating just a little bit more in your ribs. Peel the right ribs back. Move your left ribs towards that wall to your right. You got to stay with it. There's five more breaths in this variation. Good, you will drop the right hand to the back of your thigh. Lift your left arm up, reverse revolving crescent. Lean back into it now. And then you can bend your back knee an inch or two. Take your right shoulder away from your chin. Open it up and look back, try to see your heel. Right, if you've already come out, it's all right. Just come back in. Lunging deep, reversing it, and revolving it. Reverse, revolve, press it right here.
Good, take one more big inhale. All right, not yet. Exhale, hook the left elbow over your front thigh right into prayer twist. You might really be feeling it on the inside of that right thigh, the right quads, maybe the hip. Use your left elbow, push into both hands. Keep your heart facing the right side. Try not to let it droop down towards the ground. Whew. I don't know about you, this one's getting really challenging. So this is when you gotta use your breath. Use all of the mental energy that you have. It can't just be physical, it can't just be physical. Come back and focus right here. Five more breaths in your twist. Take your hands down, crawl it over to the side. Whew. Skandasana in your left knee, flex your right toes and stretch that out. So we are gonna turn to the back of the mat. Place your hands down, lift your left toes nice and high. And then exhale, bring your left knee towards your nose. Hold it there. Start to pulse it out, down an inch, up an inch. It's almost like these little mini micro push-ups. Keep your left toes engaged. Keep that left thigh up and in, pulse it out. Five, four, three, little pulses, come on, two, and one, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot up. Go ahead and meet me Whew. in crescent lunge right there. I'm having to wipe some sweat from my eyebrows from getting in my eyes. This is a good sign, right? At home, not in a heated studio. Keep using your breath. Use the postures, guys. Don't back off now, right? Sink a little lower in your left hip. And then take the hands through the center and open them to your left. Open arm twist. And try to keep your back foot from rolling out to the pinky toe. Keep pushing into your right big toe so you feel the inside of your right ankle lengthening. Take the right ribs around to that wall just a little bit more. That means you peel your left ribs back, arms are still up. Everybody one inch deeper in your thigh and your hips. Reach the left hand down through the thigh, reach your right arm up to the sky. Reverse revolving. Soften your right knee an inch or two, let it go. Let it shake, let it tremble. Just come back to your breath, using all of your attention now, no distractions as you pour all of this effort into your practice. Try to reach a little higher, look back, see your back heel. Lean into prayer twist, hook the right elbow whew, over your left thigh. Last lunge right here. This one's all you. Keep lifting your chest up. Push palm into palm. Feel that contact there of the skin. Lots of pressure, lots of heat. Right elbow pushes against the thigh. Lift up.
and then take your hands down. Crawl over to the right, Skandasana. Whew. Awesome job. Come back to the center, stay facing the side this time. Turn your toes in, heels out. Lengthen out on your inhale. And then exhale, take a forward fold. Take at least five more breaths in this fold, right? We're gonna stay really allowing ourselves to sink here, allow your upper body to hang. If you do want to try going upside down, you can go into your headstand, tripod headstand, handstand, whatever it is, or you can simply stay in that straddle fold. And then coming back down. Still facing the side. Open your legs out. Nice wide angle stretch. Walk the hands out. Just allowing gravity to do a lot of the work here, allowing a lot of your weight to rock forward. So your chest, your head, feel the weight move into even your heels. You feel your sitting bones get lighter, right? So if you feel all the weight in your seat, try to rock your weight towards your heels, out to your hands, almost as if you could lift your sitting bones off of your mat. And then allow yourself just a few more moments here, completely relax. Let your head hang really heavy. Relax your elbows and your arms. And just crawl your hands over to the right foot. And then wave your left arm over your ear for a side stretch. So you don't have to grab the foot. I mean, you can if you want to. Just take a stretch through your left ribs and your left hip. So that means you're trying to look up underneath the armpit towards the ceiling. So you're stretching out the side body rather than just forward folding. And then you'll just crawl through the center and try the other side. Right arm over. So you feel this side stretch all the way down to the hip. Touch the foot if you want, it's not necessary. Good, and then come back to the center. Slide your legs together, lie down onto your back. 
for a back bend. Bridge or upward facing bow, five breaths. That's it, five breaths in your back bend. Bridge or upward bow. Standing your feet, lifting your hips. And then knees to chest. So you can finish it off, maybe a couple windshield wipers in the shins, just rocking knees side to side, any other shape, happy baby. And then you can start to take some time for Shavasana here. So laying on the mat, lengthen both legs out. Try not to skip this. I know it's tempting at home. We'll just be here for a few minutes. I'll let you know when it's time to move again. So all you have to do is relax, find an easy place for your hands. Close your eyes. And just take this time, it might feel very relaxing. Take rest. So go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. The good thing is you're at home. If you want to stay in your Shavasana longer, stay longer. But if you're ready to move, start to wake up fingers and toes. Take a few morning stretches, brand new here. Notice how it feels, how it feels from the beginning to the end of a practice. It almost feels like you may have a brand new body as you rise up to your seated position, it feels like you maybe have a brand new mind. So much change can happen in an hour, but the, the only way that works is to get a lot of change, right? Change is always happening, but to get a lot of change in a short amount of time, it requires your effort. So as you sit nice and tall, place your hands to your heart center, just noticing the power of your effort to create this new feeling, 
in your body and mind, much lighter. Take a nice full deep breath in. And then exhale, bow forward, seal your practice. And then go ahead and rise up. Namaste, everybody. All right, imagine all the change. You can apply that to any area of your life. But if you want change and you want it to go a little quicker than it's going, it requires more of your effort. So change is always going to happen. It's just a slow process if we're not doing anything. So maybe just think about that today if you have another another project you're working on or something like that, put a little effort into it and you'll see that change happening a lot, a lot quicker. So thank you guys so much for joining today. Oh, something's wrong with the sound. Anyway, love you all. Namaste, namaste. Um, love you, Brittany. Um, so Friday is the next time that we're teaching. I'm teaching Friday morning Ashtanga. Vinyasa-ish something, and he's teaching yin and juice at night, 6.30. So join us then. A lot of other teachers in this channel, I know Christine and Mackenzie are both teaching classes this week, so go check them out as well. And if you guys have any feedback or any questions, let me know. It's amazing that a lot of you guys, you know, I've seen you in almost every class, so good for you guys for keeping up your practice and not giving up. It's really, really challenging, I know to practice at home and stay motivated, but you guys have not given up. So don't give up yet. We only have a little bit longer of this and then we'll be back in the studio um, and back to our, our everyday, okay? So have an amazing rest of your Tuesday. Miss all of you, see y'all soon. And namaste. <laughs> Bye guys.